If this man you're shielding is a murderer, then every man he kills from here on in will sit on your shoulder and scream in your ear. Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875. The Carlton Hotel. Headquarters of a man called Paladin. Good evening, hey boy. Oh, uh, Mr. Paladin, better you go straight up to your room, not go farther into lobby. Oh, why not? Oh, you see, standing over there, lady with red hair. Ah, uh, she looks quite angry. Oh, yes, sir. That's not all. Over there, other side, lady with black hair. I see. Hey, boy, don't know which lady is most dangerous. Well, I took the brunette out to dinner two nights ago, and the redhead the night before that... Have they talked to each other? Oh, yes, sir. That's just a trouble, Mr. Paladin. They're talking much. They get mad. Oh, plenty mad. Maybe you best disappear for a few days. Yeah, well, perhaps you're right. Uh, this telegram may be a reason. Oh? It's too bad. They're both so attractive. Now, let's see. Regarding your offer to find killer of local sheriff... You're welcome to try at your own risk. S.J. Lovett, Mayor, Silver Flat, Nevada. You go again? Well, yes, I might as well. But uh, what about our beautiful young ladies? You talk to them? Uh, no, no, no. Not right now, hey, boy. I'm going to take your advice and go up to my room. And you can bring me some whiskey. I can enjoy it while I do my packing. <laughs> is an ugly town set in an ugly notch between a pair of ugly mountains. I'd been there once before and it hadn't changed much. A few buildings thrown up on either side of a rutted street, half of them saloons, the others land offices. I picked the one that was labeled S.J. Lovett Real Estate. There were a couple of men lounging near the doorway. What do you want here? Well, I'm not sure it's your business. Never mind, Bolt. Yes, sir. Well, who are you? My name is Paladin. Oh, I'm Lovett. You got here fast. Speed is part of my service, Mr. Lovett. It's Mayor Lovett, mister. Uh, I'll try to remember that. Uh, can we talk without him? Yeah, of course. Come in. Sit down. Thanks. Paladin? Ben Tyler killed Sheriff Pratt. You've offered to bring Tyler back for trial. <laughs> I've got men who could do that if they could find him. And I won't pay you unless you find him. That's the way I work. Killing Tyler won't be enough. I'll have to see his body for proof. His body? You'll never bring Ben Tyler back to Silver Flat alive. You'll either kill him or he'll kill you. That's the kind he is. Now, uh, how do you expect for this job? $2,000. Uh, that's a lot of money. But you've got a deal. I'll pay you when you deliver. Oh, uh, and from here on, you're a deputy sheriff. You can consider yourself sworn in. Here, use this badge. Well, how will I know this, Tyler? For one thing, he carries a small gun, a 36 caliber star. And you might get a line on where he is through his lawyer. Who's that? Tom Nelson. Now, we had Tyler cold for killing Charlie Bristol, and Nelson got him off. Then Tyler went out and killed Sheriff Pratt. He's a fancy talker, this Nelson. You be careful of him. I will. Well, who are the witnesses who saw Tyler shoot Sheriff Pratt? No witnesses. Well, you seem pretty sure he did it. Why? That 36 star he carries, 
We dug three thirty-six caliber slugs out of Pratt before we buried him. That's better than witnesses. Look, I just thought you might be able to help me find Ben Tyler, Mr. Nelson. Lovett's already asked me to do that. I won't help anyone take that man's life. I just want to find him, not kill him. I have nothing more to say to you. And you can report that to his honor, the mayor. Well, why is he squeamish? You defended Tyler for shooting a man named Bristol, and apparently he went right out and killed the sheriff. The last part is hearsay, Paladin. Then we'll set it straight. Nelson, if you know, tell me where he is. I'll bring him back for trial. I can't do anything for you. Tyler's my client. He was your client. You don't owe him anything now, Mr. Nelson, but he's charged with murder. And you're obstructing justice if you know where he is and refuse to say. Now, look, don't preach to me I'm about not the... preaching at you. I'm telling you. Tyler has to be brought back. If he's innocent, he should be cleared. If he's a murderer, he's got to be stopped. Nelson, if you're shielding a murderer, then every man he kills from here on in will sit on your shoulders and scream in your ears. Now, where is he? Will you give me a word you'll take him alive? I can only promise to try. He was in Prado the last time I heard from him. Utah Territory? That's right. I'll bring Tyler back in one piece, if he lets me. Tyler was the first man I ever defended in a criminal action. He's also the last. I'm finished with this whole rotten business. What rotten business? I'm trying to bring law to this miserable town. <laughs> Tyler's trail from Prado wasn't hard to follow. He liked gambling, and he liked whiskey. And he didn't seem to care who knew his name. As a matter of fact, he didn't seem like a man on the run at all. I caught up with him in a town called Hayes. He was in the middle of a card game, and things were going his way. Uh, just what I need, boys. All blue. <laughs> I swear I ain't never seen nobody hold cards like that. Uh, nothing can stop me tonight. <laughs> ben Tyler... <laughs> yeah. Uh, do I know you? You will. You left something unfinished back in the Silver Flat. Oh? Like what? Like a murder charge. <laughs> you come on kind of strong, don't you, mister? You can try your gun, but I'd advise against it. Love it must want me real bad if he'd pay the price for somebody like you to get me. You want to go back sitting in your saddle or lying across it? I could say the same to you. That's right. You want to see which way it works out? All right, mister. I'll go back with you. Paladin? What? Make any difference if I told you I didn't kill Sheriff Pratt? He was shot at Clifton Wells, and I wasn't within 50 miles of the place, and I can prove it. You'll have your chance. I was with a girl. She went to Carson City, but I can get her down to Silver Flat to say what's right. And I think save it for the jury, Tyler. Who no. We'll leave the horses here. wants to get his hands on me. Because there's evidence you murdered Sheriff Pratt. I told you I can prove I didn't. But I got an idea I was squeezed between Lovett and the sheriff. You see, they hated each other, politically and every other way. His honor wants to move up and run this state. Pratt had something on him, something about fraud in his election. I... Well, I see you brought him in. Any trouble? No, no trouble. 
No, I'll take my money, Lovett. Huh? I'll take my money. Two thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't carry that kind of money around with me. I didn't expect you would. But your office is right next door. Well, yes. And we'll walk to it now. Uh-huh. What about me, Paladin? You gonna leave me here to rot? I don't know yet, Tyler. Come on, Lovett. How about that money? Just, just get it. Yeah, two thousand. Count it if you want. I'll be back if it isn't right. You. Sell land all over this state? Yes, why? This map on the wall. It's very interesting. We got anything else to talk about? I want to know if Ben Tyler will get a trial. Of course he'll get a trial. First thing tomorrow. I haven't seen the circuit judge around. He's busy. I'm empowered to sit on the bench in an emergency. In the absence of the sheriff and with the temper of this town... I'd call this an emergency. I'll take that badge back if you don't mind. No. No, I think I'll keep it. What? I didn't bring Tyler back here to get murdered. Oh. You watch yourself around here, Paladin. You watch yourself real close. This is my town. Lock, stock, and barrel. Mm. trial of Ben Tyler was talked about in the hotel, in the saloons, in the general store, in the livery stables. It was talked about, and it was conceded that Ben Tyler would be convicted and hung for murdering Sheriff Pratt. Hardly anyone seemed to care whether or not the prisoner was defended. Nelson! What do you want, Paladin? I want you to defend Ben Tyler. I'm not going to get involved in a criminal case again. I got him off once, and that's enough. Besides, I told you I'm through with this whole rotten business. You're the only lawyer in town. What if I am? That trial is set for tomorrow morning, and Lovett's going to act as judge. Now, Tyler claims there's a girl in Carson City who can clear him, but that won't give us time to bring her here. It's no concern of mine. It is your concern, but there's more. Lovett and Sheriff Pratt were enemies. And with the sheriff gone, Lovett's the big man around here. Are you suggesting Lovett had the sheriff murdered? Lovett's an ambitious man. There's a map in his office showing the number of voters in every county. Now, I'm suggesting that Sheriff Pratt might have been in his way. And I'm also suggesting that people might overlook all the facts if Ben Tyler is tried, convicted, and hung tomorrow morning. Now, you've got to act in his behalf. I don't have to do anything. If you don't act soon, all you'll be able to do is cut Tyler down from the gallows. Look, will you take the case for $500? No, not at any price. Why should I in this desert where justice is a mockery unless you carry a gun? Let's just say it's not a matter of money. It's a matter of principle. Principle? Why did you study law at all if you don't have the stomach for it? You'd like it, wouldn't you, if only nice people were arrested, if trials were dainty and sweet-smelling and polite. Is that it? Well, it's too bad. But justice can be dirty sometimes, Mr. Nelson. Thieves and cutthroats have to be defended because somewhere among a thousand thieves and cutthroats, there just might be one who isn't guilty. But maybe you don't care about that, or a man's freedom, or his life. Heard you were stirring up some trouble, Mr. Pellet. Where did you hear that? Mayor Lovett, as a matter of fact, he asked me to get back that badge you're wearing and send you on your way, so I'll just... I wouldn't try it. Huh? Before you pull the hammer back on that gun, I'll have three bullets in you. You want to try? All right, then, you go back to Mayor Lovett. You tell him I'm keeping this star. And you tell him... Tell him that I'm defending Ben Tyler. That's all. I'll get out. Thanks for making up my mind, Ballad. What's the first step? A change of venue to get Tyler out of Lovett's hands. 
and take a writ. All right. What else? But even if I do get the writ, they still took bullets from Tyler's gun out of Pratt's body. Nelson, how hard would it be for anyone to get hold of a 36 caliber star? Not too hard. We better move fast. I was beginning to give up on you, Paladin. It was my fault, Ben. Mr. Paladin had to convince me of what I should have seen myself. Hey, what's this? You're being released for trial in another court, Ben. Before an impartial judge and jury. Will I be able to get that gal in Carson City? You'll be able to defend yourself with every bit of evidence you can gather. And I'll see to it. Well, I swear to you, Tom, I didn't kill him. Just stand where you are. Uh, shotgun, Mr. Mayor. That's right. Don't nobody move wrong. With a shotgun, you're holding the best card, is Lovett. And you're helping a man break jail, Paladin. I brought an order for his release, Lovett. There's to be a change of venue in this case. Paladin's only doing his job. I haven't seen any release order. I've got it. And I take the responsibility for releasing the prisoner. Oh. Well, let's see it. Of course. <laughs> you take this outside and burn it. Glad to, Mayor. That won't do any good. Paladin and I will tell Judge Lehman that we delivered it. I don't think Mayor Lovett intends for us to tell anything to anybody. That's the way it'll be, won't it, Lovett? You'll be shot, helping a prisoner escape along with his lawyer. Bolt, get his gun. Sure. Turn around. Okay. And one more shot for you, Lovett, if I have to use it. No, 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 Paladin, no. Take a shotgun, no. Tyler, take a shotgun. I sure will. And here's your star, Mayor. Now, Mr. Nelson, the case is all yours. Oh, good to see you back, Mr. Paladin. You have good trip to Silver Flat? Good as can be expected. Oh, hey, boy, did the ladies finally leave? Oh, ladies. Oh, they have big fight over you. Policemen come and take them away. You, you're smart, Mr. Paladin. Go away and miss trouble. <laughs> when it comes to being caught between two women, I'll run every time, hey, boy. Well, now, for a quiet evening of poker with... Uh-oh. Uh Good evening. Mr. Paladin. Wow. Uh, on second thought, hey boy, since I'm dressed for the evening, I might as well go out for the evening. Mr. Paladin, you're not tired from long trip? If I were, I'm not anymore, hey boy. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes. Good night, hey boy. Good night, Mr. Paladin. <laughs> by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe is produced and directed in Hollywood by Norman MacDonald and stars John Daner as Paladin with Ben Wright as Hayboy. Tonight's story was written by Buckley Angel and adapted for radio by John Dawson. Featured in the cast were Dick Crenna, Harry Bartell, Bart Robinson, and James Westerfield. Hugh Douglas speaking. <laughs> Join us again next week when CBS Radio presents Have Gun, Will Travel. U.S. Marshal Matt Dillon corners a vicious killer into a desperate move as Gunsmoke follows next on the CBS Radio Network.